So I'm talking to Bryson Hall of Winterset, Iowa, he farms with his father, Corey there, and I had them evaluate DeWalt's new DCG 414 uh, angle grinder. This is a cordless angle grinder. Nothing new about cordless angle grinders, but what is new, this comes with DeWalt's 60 volt uh, battery with this. This is also a six amp hour battery, so it has a huge amount of capacity. And I wanted them to use this because they were used to using cordless or corded angle grinders, right? Yep. Bryson around the farm. Yep. So after using those and after using this, are you still using your corded grinders? No. <laughs> we, have, we haven't even pulled the corded grinder out in well ever since we got that. I mean, it's just we use that for everything. We, uh, if you got to cut something out in the field, cut a bolt off or something, cut a nut, um, grind something down, you right. just grab it and go. So what capacities are we talking about that you used it for? You were cutting metal, thin sheet metal up to? Um, I haven't really cut anything probably thicker than a quarter inch with it with right. the cutting wheels, okay. but uh, we've cut some tubes on augers and we had to repair augers on some bins okay. and things like that. That's sheet metal that cuts really well. Right. Uh, now you were using it both out in the field as well as in the shop. What were you using it for out in the field? Just shining up? If you, got, if you got a rusted bolt or nut and you oh, want to okay. just cut it off, right. it makes quick work of those. Now here's what's really new about this is we've seen with corded tools the amount of voltage that they offer. Uh, DeWalt has a 60 volt. This is their 60 volt unit which is top of the line and, and kind of broke the battery barrier if there was one in voltage and it also has six amp hour and it used to be you could get no more than two then three then four amp hour this is six first i want to ask does it have enough power coming out of this battery that grinder has every bit the power that our corded grinders have had okay. i haven't seen any power difference as far as torque and cutting ability cutting speed right um it'll grinding it'll grind through just about anything right um there's really no difference between that and a quarter grinder, in my opinion, with that battery. So what about the six amp hour? That's kind of the fuel tank of the battery. I've never run that all the way, just grinding nonstop to see how long the six amp hour battery would last. But for sporadic, periodic usage in the shop, it, it will last quite a long time. DeWalt also made this with their FlexVolt system, which means that battery can work in their older 20 volt battery charger. So you've you, done that before yeah. then. Not only will it work in the battery charger, but you can use the 60 volt battery on a 20 volt impact driver. Oh. And so instead of having a four amp hour battery or a two amp hour battery on your impact driver, you can go with the six hour amp hour battery and it'll just run forever. The kit for this will sell, which is both the uh, charger, the battery and the grinder is $269. Uh, you can buy the tool alone. I think that's $169. Is that worth the investment for a tool like this? I feel like it is. We're even getting ready to buy impact dry, like half inch impact wrenches and circular saws and everything that'll work with the 60 volt battery because once you get the 60 volt system, you can use it on a lot of stuff and the ability to have the cordless with all the power of a corded tool is well worth it in my opinion. Bryce and I appreciate your dad, Corey, and you testing the tool for us. We'll have to get you some new tools to test in the future. If you need more information about the DeWalt tool tested here today, you can go to agriculture.com slash TV, or you can certainly go to DeWalt's site, DeWalt.com. Well, I employed Corey and his son Bryson Hall, that farm by Winterset, Iowa, to test out a leaf blower. Now, you wouldn't think a leaf blower would have any place on the farm. However, Works and Echo both came out with 60 high volt uh, leaf blowers. This is a 60 volt Works turbine. This is their model WG59I. And the brag was here that this put out 465 CFM of air and 125 mile an hour winds. And I thought, well, if there's anything that's worth a farm, it would be this. Corey, you gotta tell me, did you use it much? Uh, this is crazy tool. Um, I know you said, Corey, here, take this leaf blower out to the farm and play with it. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, right, okay, so we got a few leaves to do. <laughs> well, we uh, kind of thought about it, and we had a walking floor trailer at the time, and 
to sweep out that trailer after every load of corn was just a total pain. So we thought, you know, we're just going to grab this, this blower and try it in there. And I tell you what, it, that corn just come flying out of the trailer. We had corn that was like a foot deep and it was moving the pile. And we, I just could really? not believe it could move that much. Yeah, because that's a pretty sizable weight that you have. To exactly. Move. And it just blows it right out the trailer. And then we thought every farmer, and I'm sure, uh, when they're finishing cleaning out a grain bin, yeah. the worst part of the job is going around with a broom right. trying to sweep out the corners. Yeah. And man, you put this thing down on the corner, just walk around in a circle, and it yeah. just blows it all to the middle in no time at all. It's, it, this is, we'll never, we'll never operate without one of these again. I tell you what, this thing's amazing. So did you ever use it during harvest? Because I've heard some guys speculate this would be a great way to clean out combines between working day. Well, as dirty day. as the cab gets, I should try it in there. I haven't done that yet. But we have gone up in the actual grain tank itself when we're trying to clean everything out. And there's always leftover grain right. around the augers. You can't get it all out. And boy, you just pop this thing up in there and just blow it all out of there. And yeah. it uh, cleans up the combine like none other. So we've been really thrilled with it. So you get this 65, 56 volts. This is consuming a lot of power. How long would this last between charges? You know, the thing I do like about this tool, because I'll, be, I'll admit when the wife wants the yard mode, I have blown the, the sidewalks off with it too. Um, it does have a variable knob. Oh, for the speed. So you can slow down the speed. And if you can go with a slower speed, that battery goes oh. forever and ever and ever. Um, now when we're cleaning out the truck with the corn, um, I'd say you could run it maybe full power for 20 minutes conservatively, right. uh, maybe up to 30. So it does have a lot of battery life, but it goes forever if you have the throttle turned down. That's the amazing thing about battery technology. Is that what surprised you about the way they've added capacity to cordless tools that way? I never would have seen it coming. Uh, but the one thing I can say without a doubt is I'm so grateful for the higher voltage technology because I can envision here within the next year, I will never get another corded tool out again. We'll do everything with, with battery powered tools. Yeah. So the retail on this varies between $100 to $129 just for the tool only, not the battery and the charger. Knowing what you know now, would you be willing to pay that for this kind of tool for your operation? Uh, and not have to slug cords around all the time? Absolutely. Yeah. Not even a question. I want to thank you and Bryce for testing tools. We're going to give you another cordless tool to test out in the next product test team review. For more information about the Works Turbine and other tools that we've tested with the product test team, you can go to agriculture.com TV. And of course, you can get more information from Works products at works.com. Hi, I'm Dave Mowitz. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe right here if you haven't already and click that little bell right here to be notified when we post a new video. And click here to see more great videos.